Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also gonna let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. Part of what I do is I use a mind map. Uh, many of you may or may not know what that is, but a mind map is something that you draw out as, uh, as sort of a vision. It's a, it's a place where you put yourself in the center of a hub and maybe circle uh, two or three levels of you know, external circles around that place as yourself in the center, and that's a sort of a, um, sort of a target-looking thing. And um, you want to have a clear vision. So from yourself being this magnificent blazing light that exists within every atom of your being, um, you want to get a clear vision. So whatever it is that, let's say you're interested in healing, so you want to get a clear vision of you maybe speaking to a thousand people, or you want a clear vision of you, you know, extracting a cancer tumor from somebody's body, or you want to get a clear vision of you after the cancer patient has, you know, uh, been cured and, you know, he's hugging you and, and loving you. You want to create the, uh, the equivalent uh, feeling of the joy that comes from the already manifested there. You want to you want to um, step into the place of you know getting uh, committed to that situation. So everything is intention. Understand that we have attention, intention, and retention. And the intention is has a focused laser beam portion of our life force. So our life force is attention. Whatever we pay attention to, we expand in this world. Whatever we intend, we, we coagulate and converge that attention into a laser-like place. So when we intend to do something now, we take our life purpose, whatever that happens to be, let's just say be a healer, okay, we take our life purpose and we, and, you know, we converge the energies into that. We start to think about that all the time. We start to discuss that all the time. It filters into our, into the way we feel. I am a, I am a great healer on this planet. I am, you know, uh, doing good work with people in the cancer realm or whatever the case may be, and you start to step into that feeling of what that's like. You then, you know, take that situation and then you intend uh, to start, you know, that process going. And because you do the IMs, it will give you the thoughts involved in that situation. So you start to think about, you know, where, where does cancer reside in the body? How does it work? What's the diagnostic, diagnostic principles involved? What are the... What are the things that we see internally, whether it's a shape or a form or whatever? What do we see externally through X, uh, through, uh, through um, X-rays and things like that? You know, you start to look at that process. You start to look at that very deeply, and you start to then see what it is that you can intend to make happen. Okay, so as you start to focus your your clarity on that, you want to say, let's say, from the inside of you, that you want to intend for that that cancer tumor to dissolve right before your eyes. You want to intend that that cancer tumor has no power, no intensity to, you know, dis, uh, you know disrupt the growth of, to disrupt the, the homeostasis of your body. You want to intend that it's your love that will let that cancer tumor leave the body. You want to make intentions involved in all these kinds of things. So as you get a purpose, you know, you want to start focusing your thoughts in that direction. Focus mm. is really big thing. So now you get the focus there and you want to draw from yourself as much as you can with an intention to draw all of your energy into one point so that you can make this happen. You want to take your power, your authority with the universe, which is how integrous you are, into the connected field of all things. And you want to use that ability or that integrity, that situation that you have intended to help another human being. And if you are fully behind that with your emotions, your conscious and your subconscious and superconscious, you know, it becomes very easy to help that other person in that situation. Now, I know there's a lot of different kinds of, 
ideas out there around that. But this is this is a, a release process, and it's also a focus process. So now you have so now you have a purpose, and you are intending to help in this particular way. You are intending to use forces that are outside of your physical body to to come through you to help heal that situation. That intention starts a power inside of you. That intention through an I am starts a power in you that flows through you. Sometimes your hand will heat up. Sometimes your body will heat up. Sometimes you'll get visions of the of the of the tumor or whatever the case may be. Sometimes you will just feel it. Sometimes you will just you know connect with it and talk to it because your cells are alive and everything is conscious inside of you as as uh, DNA and as everything else and in that discussion uh, you know you're gonna you're gonna try to get what information you can from it or you're gonna ask you know what would it take for you to leave this body or however it goes so your, your purpose you know starts to become more detailed and much more subtle and as you start to go into the details of all those things now you start to believe the more you start looking at it the more you start feeling it you start to believe that that can happen because as you start to believe you are bringing it closer inside of your body and again everything is just a reflection uh, everything outside of you is just an echo of what's going on inside of you even other beings you know their connection with you is a reflection of what's going on between the two of you so as you start to do that if that person believes in you and you believe in your power you know that situation starts to activate and you can activate anything by your intention so we are extraordinarily powerful so if you can imagine that you have all the power of source within you which you do by the way you can access any of that if you can imagine that you have all the power of source it's not hard for source to instantaneously dissolve a humor a tumor it's not hard for source to do anything so if you allow that thing if you say i'm going to allow that not resistant you end you end your resistance to that situation let it flow through you let all of your attention let all of your intention let all of your source energy that you can channel by opening yourself up to being willing to let that come through you you know that will start to move energy and as you start to move energy you will begin to see things happen you will begin to see synchronicities of of your intention into the physical world and you'll begin to see how all that works you may even get greater awareness of what goes on in other people's body by intuiting that and getting visions of that and knowing where you can what you can push on and what you can't push on in terms of the the energy of that situation so i don't know if this is helping but i think it uh, it should be uh, it should be a pretty good direction for creating uh purpose and, and you know stepping outside of the the understanding that everything is not visible but that everything is available through uh, our internal uh processes every challenge every scarcity every lack can be dealt with very easily by focus, by intention, by I am and by and by getting past the uncertainties. We can create anything when we get past the uncertainties. So in order to do that, you never entertain for a moment any contrary thought to what you want to achieve. You have zero attention to what you dislike. You want to be mindful of the way you think. You want to watch and notice what pops up, you know, when you start to direct your intention or attention you want to be the watcher of your thought without judging that so that you can get your thoughts out of the way and let the flow come through you want to observe you know your ideas where they came from and why you, you know you don't want to try to suppress anything you simply want to observe and then attempt to uh, understand where they come from and that will help dissolve whatever is it, you know they'll dissolve mm -hmm from being exposed to the light of our attention and our understanding when we understand and we give attention and intention to something anything can dissolve or anything can be created so doubt and fear keep us from our limitless possibilities and the only reason for any of our dreams or visions or desires or purposes and the only reason they don't manifest is because of doubt and fear so if you have faith in that if you believe if you start to understand and watch the things you start to know what's happening and when you know what's happening that's stronger than than belief and it becomes actually the certainty of that this you know takes effect in the 3D world i hope that helps hello and welcome this is Darius Barzani host of the wealth revolution and if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews i'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below you're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now daily where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're going to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get 
to be one-on-one -on -one, live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell so you won't miss a thing.